if I got another strike on KG Boom Boom, not only would it take down everything on KG Boom Boom, which took a year to build, but it would also take down every other channel associated with me and permanently ban me for lifetime from ever starting a YouTube channel ever again. Previously on KG Boom Boom, I made this video right here where I talked about my gun channel, KG Boom Boom, got its warning strike, first strike, and second strike all within about three days and got instantly rejected. Now with all three of those videos, they'd been on the channel for over a month and had even been manually reviewed suitable for all advertisers. And then all of a sudden, they all got completely whacked off and are apparently completely against guidelines. Since I posted that video, I've actually learned quite a bit of information and it's going to directly affect what I do moving forward and unfortunately, the future of this channel as a whole. Terrible, ain't Steve? Hate to see it, but I guess that happens on them big jobs. All right, so here's what we figured out. All of a sudden, around the beginning of the year, YouTube silently changed its guidelines when it comes to firearms. In the new guidelines, you're not allowed to add prohibited accessories onto a firearm in the video. And so what do I mean by silently, and what exactly is a prohibited accessory? Well, whenever I say silently, I mean that they didn't actually tell anybody that they updated the guidelines. And so all of a sudden, people just started getting flagged. Well, after a little bit of digging, we figured out that it was adding on these prohibited accessories. So what exactly is a prohibited accessory? Unfortunately, they don't exactly tell us that either. They give us this list, which is homemade suppressors, full auto things, and crazy stuff like that, which none of us really did anyhow. But then at the bottom of the list, they said this is not a full list. So what is the full list? If you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, they're not really giving us the information that we actually need. And with that being said, they're punishing us for the rules they aren't telling us. Sounds like a good way to get rid of a few people, I guess. But as a whole, the gun community's pretty much figured out it's like 30 round, inserting 30 round magazines, screwing on suppressors, even putting on optics, literally putting on any kind of accessory. And if you watch a lot of gun videos on YouTube, that literally happens multiple times in pretty much every video. And in this last video, I mentioned that I privated all my videos. Well, it turns out YouTube can and will still go back and strike videos even if they're private. Hmm. And with me sitting here looking at 40 videos which are private but still not safe and that every single one of them violates the new guidelines and with the channel standing with two strikes, one more strike, I'm gone, I have to make a decision. Do I want to leave up the videos and risk YouTube striking down the channel and all those videos it took me a year to make? Well... That's when I did a little bit more digging and found out that if I got another strike on KG Boom Boom, and this is a big part that no one's really talking about. Not only would it take down everything on KG Boom Boom, which took a year to build, but it would also take down every other channel associated with me and permanently ban me for a lifetime from ever starting a YouTube channel ever again. And so what does that mean? KG Boom Boom gets one more strike, that channel's gone, my main channel's gone, my gaming channel's gone, my vlog channel's gone, my podcast channel's gone, my podcast clips channel's gone, my Spanish channel, which has two videos on it ever, is gone. This other channel, which never had a video posted on it, is gone. This other channel, which never had a video posted on it, is gone. And my right to ever start back another YouTube channel in my entire life is gone. Never allowed to start another channel ever. And it's not like you change your email address and start up a new channel. YouTube tracks you with all these channels through your name, your address, and even your social security number because that's how you get paid. You can never own or start another YouTube channel. So uh, that's what they actually don't tell you before they strike your channel. You gotta wait until they delete your channel before they even tell you that. And so yeah, I only have a year's worth in KG Boom Boom, but I have seven years in all these other channels worked all in to what might happen with this next strike. So with that being said, guys, like, I mean, I'm 22. YouTube is kind of like the only skill I actually have. I literally plan on doing YouTube until I like croak over and die, but literally one more strike and I can never do YouTube again. And so this is where the story gets even better. Once I learned that, I was like, um, okay, we're gonna have to do something about all these videos on KG Boom Boom, because even though they're private, they can still get struck. What's old KG gonna do about that? Well, here's what a lot of the other gun tubers are doing. Within YouTube, there's a little editor where you can go into video that's already posted and trim out segments. So they're going in and trimming out segments where they reload a mag or screw on a suppressor. I was like, all right, I'll do that. I mean, there's not, there's only like 40 videos on KG Boom Boom. Let's try it. Well, I go in there to trim it. Oh, what's that? This, this video can't be edited because it has over 100,000 views? What? Talking about suffering from success. Sheesh. Well, that stinks. The next day I hop on there again and now it magically lets me edit the videos. Oh, hey, Steve. So I go through all the videos and edit out all the times where I put in a 30 round mag or screwed on a suppressor. 
Well, later that night, I talked to uh, some of the people that work with me on my YouTube channel, and we was just sitting there thinking about it. YouTube didn't even tell us this was happening. In a week, are they gonna decide, hey, now 30 round mags are illegal no matter what, even if you don't insert them? What about if they say it looks like an AR-15, it's illegal to put on a YouTube video? Then I get banned for that because they didn't tell us the rules? Do we really trust YouTube to not give me a random strike out of nowhere for the next two months? Yeah, not really. We don't really trust YouTube like that. So uh, we had to make the decision because like literally one more strike and the entire channel's, well, one more strike and every channel is gone. And so last night we thought about it. Literally one more crazy strike from YouTube. A ton of channels are gone. Yep, that's an iPhone, Steve. Back up a little bit, I'm making a video. Steve's going hungry because we can't afford dog food. It's probably best if we delete every single video on the channel and almost abandon KG Boom Boom just so that we don't lose everything. So last night, that's exactly what we did. Steve, bro, you stink. Get out of the way. Here we go. Delete 29 videos. Do we really want to do it? I think so. I did it. 29 works of art. Gone. <laughs> yep. It's gone. Millions of views. That's all right, though. It don't matter anyhow. Crazy thing is whenever we started KG Boom Boom, I literally told Ethan, I'm like, this channel is going to get deleted. I just don't know if it's going to be one month, one year, or five years. I was like, but it is going to get deleted. And I was like, whenever it gets deleted, that's just it. We tried. But at least we made it to 100K in under a year. That's not terrible at all, is it? That's really good. Yeah. That's the Pulled in a lot of views, money. too. Pretty solid. Yeah. Boom, they're all gone. Shoo. All right. Rip. It is over. <laughs> That's really sad. Yep. Welcome to the game. <laughs> And so for the future of KG Boom Boom, man, for me, is it really worth risking the giant hunting channel, the gaming channel, the vlog channel, the podcast, maybe for a few gun videos? I mean, I mean, for me, I'm gonna have to say it's not. And I mean, it stinks, because literally just a month ago, all those gun videos were totally fine, and honestly, YouTube loved them. But now, everything changed. Oh, overnight. I mean, if you wanna keep up with me, you can watch this video and see what a 10 millimeter does to deer. Or maybe over here where we went and killed some bears in West Virginia. But as for the gun videos, I don't know, guys. It's looking like gun videos on YouTube may be about to literally be extinct. Keep me updated in the comments, guys. I want to hear what y'all think about this.